Weather with meteorologist Ryan Matouche. All right, welcome back everyone and good evening. Another great day today with temperatures right about average for this time of year. Blue skies as far as the eye can see. A lovely day outside with our Emporia camera too. Uh, soon summer weather will be here. Temperatures will start to warm up, but for right now we're just kind of on the quiet side. Satellite and radar watching the skies from above. We're noticing a distinct lack of activity for the time being, and it's because we are waiting for our next storm system to move in. Right now it is brewing over the west side of the US. It'll slowly move in across the Rockies over the next couple of days, and that's going to be the source for some more active chances of rain and maybe even a few thunderstorms. Typically this time of year we see a high of 72. Today, 70, the record high of 89 set back in 1952. Right now, we are comfortably in those upper 60s. Winds still out of the north, rather breezy, 15 miles an hour. And then temperatures elsewhere, uh, really much the same. 68 in Emporia, 66 in Hiawatha. Concordia, the lone wolf right now, holding on to 70 degrees. Wind speeds, if you were to step outside, this is what you would notice. 15 to nearly 20 miles an hour in Hiawatha, 8 miles an hour in Marysville, and 15 in Junction City. The good news is the winds will start to back off over the next couple of hours, and especially on through the midnight hour tomorrow morning, and even tomorrow afternoon, we get a break. So that is awesome. The winds will be gone. The temperatures uh, should be even nicer. We'll be starting out in the upper 30s, perhaps one or two lower 40s out there. And then for Wednesday afternoon, models are pushing us even higher into the upper 70s. Some spots out west, maybe even lower 80s. And then we take a quick sneak peek at Thursday and we see a mixture of temperatures out there. Not a lot of agreement just yet, but it looks like we could be seeing middle to upper 70s and maybe a few lower 80s. We are expecting some rain showers here and there though, and that's going to uh, fluctuate those temperatures just a little bit. Clear skies tonight, clear skies tomorrow morning, sunshine for our Wednesday afternoon. Few clouds start to move in towards the second half of the day, and then models are not in good agreement yet on what those rain chances look like. But we could see a few showers early Thursday morning, some Thursday afternoon, and a few thunderstorms will be possible late Thursday evening on into Friday too. It's not that far away, but when we see disagreement like this in rain chances, it's a little bit concerning. It lowers that confidence just a little bit. Friday morning, a few scattered showers in the area and mostly cloudy skies. Despite not knowing every last detail, we do know that the pattern will start to get a little bit more active. Tomorrow highs will be in the middle 70s for a good majority of the viewing area and then temperatures for the rest of the week. <laughs> we got 76 tomorrow, Thursday 72. Again, models are not really in good agreement on Thursday, so check back in on that one. 75 on Friday, rain chances and a few storms in the area all the way through the end of the week on into the weekend. And then on even into next week, keep in mind we're heading further into May. Rain chances will still be in the area in 80s in the forecast. We have got to take the show on the road tomorrow. If it's going to be 76 with oh, light yes. wind and a mostly sunny sky, yeah, we can't it. waste it away being in here. We'll just talk to the boss, right? That's all it takes. That's all it Something. takes. So make sure you stop by his office and mention it. And I'll get my little iPad. Where should we go specifically? <laughs> oh, gosh, anywhere. Okay. <laughs> anywhere at all. all right. Perfect. Yeah. Well, we do 